Hey everyone, welcome back to a, another VOD review. We have a VOD review courtesy of Ronan was here on Twitch or Premiere in this Overwatch VOD review. The channel points were redeemed for this free VOD review. Yes, I did say free. At twitch.tv slash Sendrio. So if you're interested in getting your free VOD review, then come hang out with us. Dang, you getting boosted? Dang, you got boosted out of the out of the spawn. Poggies. Look how fast you go when sheesh. Double boost. Imagine, imagine if the Mercy Beam did actually give you a little speed boost too. That'd be funny. And broken, but funny. All right, so you're giving, you're taking the fight right to the Rhine. Good. Are you getting bubble? You dropped the shield. Good. Smacking them again. You're just smacking on them. Nice, you counter charge. Ryan's purple, you going after him. Aggressive, nice, he's dead. We gotta make sure the mercy don't res. We're swinging, we got shatter already. We shatter nothing, but it's okay. Sheesh. And we're 25 on shatter already. Yes, yeah. Right. Very nice. Zarya's high charge, so that's how you know you're doing your job right. So with fire strikes, you just want to be careful not to feed into the diva because she of course can eat your fire strike. So we always want to be with the Rhine. Because if you can put pressure on their Rhine, then their Rhine will just be less confident in their tanking skills. So you just want to assert your dominance, as what they would say. Be the better Rhine, Rhine dip him. Whoa, the sleep and the bubble. Sheesh. And the death. And we're thanking the supports for keeping us up. Nice. Wait. We like a thankful tank. We like a tank who's thankful. Yeah. We're chasing. We're going in. I guess we're swinging. And we shatter them because fuck it. Fuck them. Yeah, be tankful. We're not chasing. That's good. We got a double hit with a fire strike, so that's good. You should hear the comms. I kept being like, yo, what the hell? Huge shatter. Everyone was just hyping this dude up. This Ryan, this Ryan gameplay was just chef's kiss. I was constantly high charged all the time. It was great. So we know that this Ryan hasn't shattered in a little bit, so we know he has shattered. So we just got to be mindful of that. Oh, that's my Poggy Woggies where I, I killed him. I'll swing in. Fuck that Eva in particular. I'm surprised you didn't want to fire strike that Diva. That's okay though. Like we just like missed right beside her. But we got Felicia though, so that's good. Oh, <laughs> Damn. Damn, Alicia. What the heck? Yeah. Yeah, you and the Mercy did so well keeping us up, too. Like, we didn't die at all. And the fact that the supports were keeping up the aggressive tanks that enable the tanks to be 
super aggressive on the front line and challenge their tanks really well because they didn't do Ryan Czar, they're Ryan Diva. So of course we had the advantage in the brawly aspect and that, which gave in turn the DPS all the space and all the angles to do what they need to do to get a pick. Even though it's mostly the tanks on the kill feed. <laughs> Don't tell Mercury that. Smile. <laughs> If you want, I don't. I don't know if I'll post it anytime soon, because it's like back to back. I'll have to let my other, my other clips go, my other videos to go in a little bit, in between. Okay, so we anticipated the block on the diva bomb, so that's good. Did you notice that entire time, the Ryan couldn't even touch the point. Their tanks, their team couldn't even touch the point at all. That's how much of a frontline presence you're giving as Ryan, and that's how much you're being enabled by your Zarya, by your supports too, just keeping you up. So the fact that their Ryan never even got a chance to touch the point, that's really good. They couldn't even touch. He didn't even shatter. Or maybe he shattered once, but it didn't matter. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Ryan like gave up really quickly. Cause like, I'm surprised he didn't switch off. Honestly, I would have tried something else. If I got out Ryan like that, I would probably try something else. But then again, maybe Ryan's your, like your best character. And sometimes you just gotta try to mirror it. Uh, I'm not sure what we're looking at, but all right, sounds good. I'm drawing the the wall. Yep, that's a wall. Affirmative. Rendezvous at my position. Five, four, three, two, one. Monkey. Now we got double bubble. Pieces. Gotta reposition because they're all on the left side. So as a monkey, they have a mercy. You just want to focus their mercy because she, if you keep tickling her, she's gonna not only get ticklish, but she won't be able to have her passive heal. So if you're gonna play a monkey and they have a mercy, focus the mercy first because you can easily get her. Like you can just save your leap, and then when she guardians somewhere, then that's when you jump on her and just kill her. Yeah, having a really good Winston, focusing the Mercy constantly is just demoralizing on that Mercy. So, I mean, it's fine that you're tickling the Ryan, but that's all you're doing. You're tickling. Their Mercy is still up, healing the Ryan through all that tickling. So, I would focus Mercy first, or whoever's low as Monkey. You're completely ignoring the mercy. That was a good little leap, just to like confirm the kill. Tickle the piggly wigglies, yeah, tickle her piggly wigglies. Man, I haven't said that in a long time, piggly wigglies. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> Wait, that that the fire strike didn't hit you. Where did it go? Oh well, in the wall probably. 
Okay, while well, you thought about it right now, thought of you saying it, yeah. Get a Piggly Wigglies. I don't even know where I got Piggly Wigglies from, but I said it a long time ago. But no, I was pretty sure I didn't make it up though, I'm not that cool. I can't make up shit like that. Okay, so again, you just, I like to see you go, go, go towards the Mercy. That's like my main takeaway from this fight so far. Just go, go for the Mercy. I almost jumped in the well, I would've left. It would've been funny. You're tickling the bubble! Don't do that. You're feeding ult charge. That's a, main, that's a main thing you want to be careful. It's so easy to feed Zarya's bubble when you're just randomly zapping, so you just want to be mindful. Now, if the Zarya is low and she puts bubble, sure, yeah, you can tickle it. Assuming you can just break through the bubble and just kill her. But she's like healthy. She's at a healthy health right now, so you just want to be careful about that. Nice bloopers. No, mommy milkers. Hello. Oh, same, same DPS lineup. What's this? Oh, actually. Yeah, we had another game like this, Eichenwald, where we were both playing tank, and again, he was just carrying us. That was really good. Yeah. You're such a good tank. Like, one of the very few tanks that will actually go chase a purple target that's really low. In this case, it's like always the Rhine, and you always kill him when he's purple. As an Ana player, I really appreciate that. As an Ana player as well. So. Yeah, it was, it was really nice playing with you, Ronin. We had fun games. Very good tank. Tank games, too. Oh, so when I was I was saving that Icon World game, that Icon World was a seven, seven minute twenty second hold on that last part that we held. It was crazy. You've shattered into your bubble. Ha! <laughs> Amateur. And he got purpled again. Good purples. He purpled that Ryan so many times. Oh, we're going after the Mercy. There we go. There we go. That's what I like to see. Oh, they got Reaper for you. Oh, Ryan's back. He's feeding. Tickle him. Look, he even laughed. He was like, whoa! Yeah, you can do- you can do a bunch of different type of jumps with Winston, too, I saw. You can do, like, very far, or you can do, like, tall, but not far, or low and far. And you can get, like, some interesting angles. Like, you can do, like, short jumps, too. Just to do like a little extra damage. So you're utilizing on like the different type of jumps are really good. Like I noticed that you don't jump far in to the enemy and you don't jump far away to retreat. You do use your jumps more tactically. Tac tactically? Something. Something like that. And you're just more mindful on like your angles of your jumps and stuff, so that's nice. Yeah, he's getting bullied all the matches, to be honest. Oh, 
I would I would be careful going against a Reaper when you're primaling because he has shotguns and you're like a really big target at this point so he can kill your health. I can understand if you're trying to boop him but there's a slight chance that he knows how to shadow step and not shift and be able to come back up. So I honestly wouldn't have gone after a Reaper in your primal. There are better targets to go after. Yeah, I'll charge for the Reaper as well. So like in this case, it would probably be like one of their supports or soldier. Like the diva, the diva can also be kind of iffy going against because she can. It's not like she can matrix your damage, but she can still like fly away and stuff or fly somewhere else. But I mean, you can still chase her, but I mean, you're just wasting. I think you're just wasting your ult duration at that point. You <laughs> go for the first guy you see. Yeah, I mean, since Reaper is technically a counter for Monkey, you just want to be careful trying to contest them and stuff and try to avoid them. Kind of like if you're playing Farah and they have a hit scan like Mommy Milkers and stuff. You just need to avoid. Just play around corners and stuff. And don't actively go against them because if I was playing Reaper and there's an enemy monkey, I'll costly be after you because I can get my life steal up easily and easy target. But hey, that's why that's why we do VOD reviews. So we get some feedback. Or get roasted. Whatever comes first. You like you shook your camera. You're like no. Okay, so I think maybe the fact that you jumped into all that enemy team that's you got deleted real quick. So maybe jumping back a little bit would have been better. Cause you have like the Ryan Soldier Lucio. Reaper's there too, and the fact that you just jumped up into them, you just got deleted with all of those people there, so. Like, you could have retreated, since your team is like completely down. But I think we just, we were just trying to just contest it, but I mean, we're at, 90, we're at 99 already. Ding dong. You want an ult charge? Well, you gave them ult charge as well. Let's see what happened. Like, why did everyone die? Like, what were we doing to have, like, four down that quickly? Okay. Oh. Oh dang. Oh, they like. Okay, so they like rushed in, and the soldier Mercy couldn't react to that, and the Ryan just swung on them and stuff. So they just they just got deleted instantly. And of course, it's a domino effect, and the soldier ult. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, Mercury just ate shit there. Huh? He actually pressed W. Look <laughs> at W. Yeah. We all's dead. Peepee hands. Peepee hands. Miracle of science. Yeah, it's not like we were feeding or anything. It was just that. The Ryan actually pressed W with the Lucio and just swung. And it actually worked, because you would have thought a Ryan pressing W and swinging. Oh, that's a lot of damage.
Let me see, that went by that went by too quickly. I could not see anything. I did not see what happened. Okay, so we we used our shield while we had a bubble on us, so we had no shield. I think maybe the fact that we used shield too early. You couldn't negate some of that damage. They also had beat, which doesn't help us at all. So you're almost half. I think the Mercy's trying to connect, but she can't. Where's this Mercy? Why is she over there? What's she doing? Why aren't you not healing your monkey, huh? Oh, she's trying to heal the Ana. Okay, so... Mercy turned away, that's why. That's why you didn't get healed at all. You're trying to peel for the Ana. Yeah, so you went in, but Reaper was flanking and stuff, which caused the Mercy to turn around and you didn't get any heals. It happens. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was a good beat. I mean, they were they they were at 97% when they beat too, so it was their like card to win that fight. We got boopers. Yeah, that uh, those last two fights were just unfortunate. Like the soldier and the mercy getting smacked, but in the front line by the Ryan just actually pressing W and then not being being able to get any heals. And the shield when we got bubbled and stuff. That was just bad timing, but that's okay. We got another, we got last round. Schmack. Lovers. Just flanking. As a Reaper should. Yeah, they shouldn't go in because sir. Coming back, we regroup in. Oh, it's like the counter pins. Good shatter. Right after that, Ryan died. Had no chance to shield it. Oh, that bubble. Oh, that was a good bubble. I like how you didn't chase the Lucio because he has speed boost and he can outrun you. So that's good that you didn't chase him because the main fight is in the center. So. Props to you on that part. I've seen so many rhymes where they chase someone and just leave the fight open. And they're technically and then we're technically down a character. Yeah, that bubble was perfect timing on that Zarya. Save that Lucio. Smack. Smack in the air. I 
he is. Saying hello. What a friendly, friendly tank. Blocking dynamite, good. So we got bubbled as soon as the Rhine is like right on us and we're swinging on the Rhine. Are you doing like the really like long swings? I think the long swing means you like hit them twice or something. Where you like also swing your mouse really far too. That's like a rhyme tactic or something like that. Come here, uh, people cute. I'm surprised he didn't charge that Reaper, but he might have had shift, but there's a chance he might not have shift, so. I don't know. Might work. Ooh. Yo, that, that fire strike almost hit. Nice. That was a that was a good purple on that Reaper. He got deleted instantly. No life steal or anything. So if you wanted to, you can always charge Bob off the point. But we're pretty healthy right now, and there's not a lot of people on point where you don't have to. But sometimes having that fifth um or that seventh character around the point is really annoying to deal with. Okay, let's see why we died there. This is a sad death. Yeah, I think he had the... Oh, there's no Reaper up. I think your your shield broke. Oh, let me see. I want to see why we die here. Every time I do VOD reviews, I like to see why we died. And just review that to see if we can learn. beams yeah the Lucio I didn't even see that Lucio there look at him <laughs> he's tickling your back they no one sees that Lucio holy crap none of us oh yeah man I know that Mercy Mercy is not aware either Mercy didn't try to bother keeping you up. She's not like, hey, why is our Ryan taking damage if he's shielding the Bob? Look at him. <laughs> Dude, sneak level 100 on that Lucio. What the heck? Oh my god. We didn't see him at all. Clueless. Why are we getting res? Poggies. Poggy res. Poggy res. Clueless. There's a Lucio behind us. Clueless. Right, let's see how we use a shatter. Oh. oh, counter shatter. No. Oh, tragic. But there's a tank trade. Oh, just kidding. The tank, the Rhine's up. Oh, but the Reaper's down. Keep a heat. Yeah, that was a good attempt. It's so hard to get shatters and stuff like with a Ryan, if they're, especially the Ryan's holding shield a lot, it's hard to like time it. I know there's like a workshop where you can like time your shatters, but it's like predictable though in those type of workshops. Skip this bit? Nah. We'll watch all of it. Chasing a Ryan, I guess. 
I mean, uh, soldier. I don't know why I said Ryan. Oh, he came back to us. <laughs> what a loser. He wanted more. There we go. Got him anyway. Yeah, he looked like he was running away, but he ran. He just came running back. He's like, hey, Ryan, you forgot me. You forgot something. No problem. Bat. And now he's dead. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you changed your mind chasing that soldier. You're about to go in deep and chase that soldier, but I'm glad you I'm glad you turned around. Cause like a Lucio, you shouldn't chase them because they got faster faster speed than you and yeah fun good good game nice um Ryan and monkey place thank you for sharing always like to bother view tanks tanks are fun to do well all of them are fun to do but tanks are fun as well so thank you Ronin Ronin for this bot review I hope to see you redeem some more. This will again be on YouTube in a few days time Whenever I can And so yeah So if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you guys so much for watching Hope you enjoy check out the playlist on all the body reviews that I've done And don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see y'all next time. Bye